Hey everybody, Ken Serves here, and we're back with another shave video. This one couldn't can't have come at a better time. Uh, I probably mentioned my last video, I can't wait for the holidays to get here. And Thanksgiving, you know, I, I, I can't wait for Christmas. So I've been gearing up, getting ready to watch all of the uh, holiday shows, all of the movies, the cartoons, and this came from Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements, Kane. Now, it's not just candy cane, it's got a bit of a barber scent to it too. So there's peppermint, but there's also corn mint, rose, talc, bergamot, oak moss, and vetiver in it. So it's a complicated scent, but it really smells like uh, the holidays, if you like peppermint candy canes. And uh, my wife is, uh, what's this? Gave it a sniff, goes, oh, that smells good. So. First hurdle is over with in my house. She doesn't like it, and I'm caught wearing it. I get nothing but flack. All right, so we're gonna be trying out these today. I'm gonna be using the Samoog uh, bore brush. I'm gonna put that into the uh, crystal skull. Actually, there's a bunch of scum in the crystal skull. A bunch of soap from last time. Soap scum. There, that's better. All right, we'll put that in there to soak. I'm gonna be using one of my favorite razors. It's just an all around razor. It's reasonably priced. And uh, when Joe from Queens did his video on it, uh, several years ago, I gotta have me one of those. He went to Pasteur's in New York City and he bought himself one. I went to Amazon and I bought myself one, but uh, it is the Mercure 34G gold. G for gold. And it is a two piece. I'm gonna be using, uh, I can't be using my Wilkinson swords all the time, so I'm gonna be using another one of my favorites, the Voskhod from Russia. We'll load one of these bad boys up. It's Tuesday. How is your week going? It's a short week for me. Tomorrow's my last day. I get Thursday and Friday off for Thanksgiving. Although we're not having th Thanksgiving, the family's not coming over. We're not going to be getting together. It's going to be a few of us, just my immediate household, and uh, just relaxing and maybe watching some holiday movies. So let's get the Voskhod blade in there. Hope everything is going good for you. It's getting cold now. Finally, I have to turn on the heater for the first time. And uh, you know what a pleasure that is. Whew. You can smell the dust and everything, but everything's back to normal now. All right. Got the blade. Drop it down there. You can get a good grip on it on the side. Put it in. Lock it in. Never have a problem with the alignment. In case you don't have a 34G or C, there's a little bit of an overhang, so you can actually hang on to the blade. Preview of coming attractions, guys. Got the Rex Ambassador here. Gonna give it a try for the first time, probably on the next shave. And I've also got another scent from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements to be trying, Oud Spice. So. We'll be trying that in upcoming shaves. All right. Well, let's get started. It's November. I'm going to probably have to say this in every video. In November, uh, growing out the goatee, as a lot of the people are, a lot of the uh, shavers, the YouTubers, are uh, growing out their beards to promote uh, people to get screened for cancer. So... That is Movember. And actually, it's kind of nice to have the goat back again. It's always fun to see a razor take it off, too. All right. Got the soap. <sighs> Holidays are here. All right. I haven't used a boar brush in a while. Some people were asking, how long does it take for the smell off a boar brush or a horse or to go away and, you know, use these scented soaps. And sooner or later, very quickly, they are going to go away. And I did it too thick. There we go. That's what I like. See, you get used to one brush. 
when you try these old ones, ones I've had from day one. My Omega, I watched Paul H. Films. He he had uh, the red Omega brush, and I go, I gotta have one of those. So I'm no different than uh, people who watch me or watch any of them. I have to have those products too when I see them. And I, I'm gonna be honest, I had never seen a Rex Ambassador before. You guys have been saying, hey, uh, when are you gonna shave with one? When are you gonna shave with one? And it is very similar to the Pearl uh, shaving brush that, uh, or shaving brush, sh uh, razor. There we go. That I just tried in the last video. All right. 34G. That's what I like to hear. That's what I like to hear. It's not just the Christmas movies, you know. It's the action movies that came out at Christmas. Die Hard, Die Hard 2, Lethal Weapon. Oh man, looking forward to these. Turning it. We've got a lot of comments to go through. And uh, I will get to them. You have a three day work week, they want you to do five days of work in the three days. So, haven't had much time this week. Yeah, the soap is really slick. That's CK6 from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. Very, very slick soap. And I eat, Douglas comes out with so many scents, man. Must be like a mad scientist laboratory. What's the next scent? What's the next? I don't know of a single company that has so many different scents, which is a good thing. Which is a good thing. All right. Yeah, almost gone. Almost. Oh, man, it does smell good. Super slick, super slick. You can't go wrong. And I know uh, I kept getting, uh, fortunately, Doug reads your comments and he answers some of the comments before I have a chance to. And a lot of people in Europe are saying, hey, how do I get these? But I guess he has distributors in England and Europe. So uh, if you have any questions for him in particular, you know, leave a comment in the video and uh, I'll see it, but uh, he will more than likely see it too. I've had this razor probably five years and so far the gold plating has not chipped, faded, came off. Very happy with that. And if you want the plain old, where is the plain old? The chrome. 34C. Oh. I can't wait to give that Rex a try. I was going to use the Rex razor today with this soap, but uh, I'm using that razor for the first time, so I'll try it with a familiar soap. I got soap. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Everywhere. Been binge watching King of Queens and Everybody Loves Raymond. So season nine of Everybody Loves Raymond, season two of King of Queens. It's kind of cool catching up on some of those shows that you have not seen in a long, long time. Or you should binge watch Gilligan's Island or The Munsters or something. All right. 
No nicks, which doesn't surprise me. That blade and that razor are excellent for me. And that soap, so slick. No issues. All right. Cane. There we go. Oh, peppermint. He told me I'm going to like this one. Oh, ho, 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 a burn. Ah. Man, that Voskhod blade and that razor, very, not aggressive, but they do a very clean cut. That's why you get a bigger burn. Whew, now my eyes are, <laughs> wow, talk about a menthol kick. Whew. All right. Well, I had no doubt that the soap would perform well. I have no doubt their products, I haven't I've yet had a dud from them. It's just a matter of scent profile, if you like the scents. And uh, this is a holiday scent, and I do believe it's limited. Uh, I, 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 it's, it's coming out for, it's seasonal. It's a seasonal scent, so I don't know if you'll be able to get it all year round. But it sure does smell good, and I'm going to be using it a lot in the next month and a half. That's for sure. Hey, thank you for watching, guys. I hope you're uh, having a good time staying safe. Uh, lockdown again. <laughs> in California, uh, they, they don't want you to do anything from 9 p.m. to 5 a.m. And I'm thinking, well, I'm just an old fart. Pardon the French, but uh, I'm not out doing anything at 10, 30 <laughs> at night. But for the, the party animals that might put a damper on some of that, uh, those activities. But, man, you know. Uh, here we go. I don't know what rules you have in your states or your countries, but uh, they, they sure are kicking up the rules strong again. So stay safe, everybody. And thank you for watching. I look forward to trying out that Rex razor, and I'm going to be giving away that razor in an upcoming uh, appreciation giveaway with some brushes from uh, Frank's uh, Shaving, and I might even have a consolation prize. I've got an Omega brush and an Omega bowl. I might even throw uh, that in as a second place one. So it's coming probably in a, a week or two, but uh, I'm going to get the shave out of that Rex uh, razor first and try it out. Uh, I was in a dilemma because uh, uh, I wanted to just borrow a razor from Razor Emporium to try, and he said he'll give it to me. Matt said, I'll just give it to you. Use it in the giveaway or keep it if you want it. Nah, love to keep it, but I'm going to give it away for you guys. All right. See you real soon.